Okay, so today we're going to take a look at how to add a sun in CS2. So this is a request that I've gotten from way too many subscribers. So as you know, the MB Sun entity has been removed. So now we have to rely on materials that emit light in order to accomplish a similar effect. And to a certain extent, it's much better because you see, you can make suns bigger, smaller. You know, you can add several on the sky. So that's actually very cool. So let's have a look with the hammer how to do this. So what you want to do, you can type sun and then you get several suns, several shapes. After you select the one texture that you want to use, what you will do is you will do a block tool and instead of a block, you want to create a quad. Create a quad like this. And let's press Q and let's unlock textures so we can scale it up or down. And then let's lock the textures again so we can enlarge it pressing E. So let's create all seven textures. So the first one, we're going to give it the first, second one, third one, let's go with the fourth one. Okay, this one's going to be number five. Maybe number six and finally number seven so here we have our seven suns bring them up pressing t and let's rotate them really really high and i'm going to scale them up and i'm going to separate them so you can clearly see because some of these actually have such a huge glow that will sort of eclipse the others if that makes sense okay so there we have all our suns let's bring them up higher yeah, there's a point where they disappear, so we want to keep them where they're visible. So there's first sun, the second one is almost invisible. Here we have one sun, there's another one. You can see how they glow. I think this one looks really cool. All, all those three. That one maybe for a cloudy sky, I don't know. And this one, it's almost non-existent. So yeah, that's the way you can add suns on Source 2 now. So these are three suns. Sun number three, four, and five. These ones are the best. So the only difference between those three is the glow. Which is actually pretty cool if you think about it, because you can now recreate an environment where you're in another galaxy or another planet, and there's suns instead of a single sun. All right, look at those suns. Very nice. And credit for this trick actually goes to this Reddit user who posted, you know, that he found a solution six months ago. You can use the mesh circle and sun this glow. Now, you don't need to use a mesh circle. You can do it the way I did it, which is just with a flat, essentially, because the rest is just going to be transparent. So yeah, credit goes to this guy. Thank you so very much for visiting. I hope that this tutorial served you and that it is a solution that you're actually looking for. Now, I put the suns very, very way up in the skybox because otherwise, if you put them like very low, as players move around your map, then the sun is going to move, obviously. So you want the sun to be kind of static. Thank you so very much for visiting and have a nice day.